This is a video that's going to show how to do um, a clipper update properly when there's update to microcontroller code. Normally you can just literally press update in the update manager or you can manually do it through PuTTY um, and everything goes normal, no big deal. Every once in a while, it used to be like six months to every year, there's an update to the microcontroller code, uh, which is a little more involved, but you can basically follow the regular instructions to reflash the board. But now if you have an accelerometer or if you're using my image and you aren't, even if you don't have an accelerometer on my image, you have access to the Raspberry Pi temp or if you follow instructions and guides to enable, stuff like that, or access to the, to the host controller pins, which you could use a, a computer, a laptop, tablet, Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone, you know, whatever you want. Clipper is very portable. That's the Python code. That can run on almost anything. Imagine that's Windows, and then the MCU is literally just the you know very high precision event timer. It's the, it does the grunt work. It's it's very simplified. Uh, you know, the high level Python code on the Raspberry Pi is telling is figuring out exactly how everything has to go, and then it's literally just as simple as when I snap my fingers, you move the step or that. When I snap them again, you move it this, you move it that, and that's what makes Clippers so accurate because uh, it allows one real-time thread to run on the actual microcontroller. But anyway, this is the easiest way to fix it, which is very simple actually, it's just one extra step, just making an extra Linux, uh, you know, set of actual microcontroller code, but it's not even an extra flash. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is open up PuTTY. Enter your IP address. Uh, just blank that. Oh. And your username is going to be Pi. Password is going to be Raspberry unless you changed it. You can change it with sudo under um, hyphen uh, sudo raspi hyphen config and it's right here under system options password or host name if you want to change the name of the printer so anyway so now we do CD clipper oh. and you're gonna type in make menu config you are gonna select do it Make sure USB is on, hit escape, yes, save config. Now you're going to type in just make. sudo service clipper stop and you're going to spell it right now a uh, thing to remember the shortcut you can just click up and it'll go back through the previous commands so you will actually have all these commands in here from when I made the image if you're using my image. Anyway, you want to use the ls backslash dev serial by id command, get your MCU. You don't need to do the reset pins this time. Sometimes if it, it might not work right away, so what you do is you're gonna do oh, I'll just type it in make flash and then capital Flash underscore device. Damn it. Make flash capital flash underscore device equals, then paste in the name. It might fail. If it fails, 
Then you do the LS serial device again. It's going to come up with the USB IF0024, like how it did when you originally did it. And then you redo the flash like that. Mine went through. Usually it does go through. But just a heads up so there's no panic. Now, you're going to go make menu config again. You're going to change this to Linux process. Hit escape. Yes. Save. Type in make. And then you're going to type in make flash oh. with nothing else, just make flash. That's going to install your microcontroller code. And now you're done. Now you can close putty. You don't even have to do the sudo clipper service start. Just make sure you come to this menu and do restart service. And everything should connect. And that's it. It's done. And no, that's not a failed print, that's just my leftover supports, just in case anyone wants to see what it actually is. I have to clean it up, but I actually had to change filaments mid-print, which was something I've never done before, but I'm going to make a, uh, a G-code for, uh, I'm going to make a macro for this. Because I ran out of carbon fiber filled, so I switched to nylon, which wasn't dried or anything, so it came out looking like crap. But this is just um, to measure for connecting to a, uh, a turbo in a car. So I wanted to, uh, but it came out fairly good. Anyway, I'm going to get this video up for you guys. And any questions, let me know.